Good morning, Pueblo Academy of Arts family. I am Gabriela Contrana. And I'm AJ Geary. And, and this, this is, is your PAA School News. Welcome back. We are home of the Phoenix. I hope everyone had a nice Thanksgiving break. This week, our NIL team competes Tuesday from 4.30 to 5.30 against Bessemer Academy. The boys' basketball team play plays again Wednesday against Vineland and Vineland at Vineland Middle School and Thursday against Skyview here at Pueblo Academy Arts. Good luck, boys. We interviewed new PAA staff member, Mr. Pacheco. Hello, my name is Mr. Pacheco, Mr. Curtis Pacheco. I'm the community advocate here. I love PAA, actually. I love the people. I love the staff and the students. I noticed the smiles on the kids and um, the staff. I, you know, those people. Yeah. Yes, I signed a recording contract with New York Factory Fast Records to do my electronic dance music. Would you mind playing a little bit for us? Sure. Thank you. Samuel Longhorn Clemens, also known by his pen name Mark Twain, was an American author and humorist. He wrote The La Adventures of Tom Sawyer and its sequel, he wrote Huckleberry Finn, the latter at often called the great American novel. This week in sports news, James Harden became a household, a household name during the 2011-2012 basketball season when he was named the NBA Sixth Man of the Year. Since getting traded to the Houston Rockets during the offseason of 2012, he had become a top 10 player in the league. We interviewed a top 10 student here at Public Academy of Arts. This is what Joe Desi had to say. Hi, I'm Joe. Uh, I play guitar at PAA. How long have you been playing? Um, ever since I was a little kid, honestly. What inspired you? Uh, honestly, I think at generations because my grandpa plays, most of the family plays, so. Is it your greatest hobby? Yeah, pretty much. What's your favorite part about playing it? I don't know, it relieves like some stress and whatnot. So. happens when a Texas fertilizer salesman decides to make a film starring himself, Manos, The Hands of Fate. Manos is a 1966 horror film that's regarded as one of the worst films ever made. Though it's popular for being so bad, it's good. Or fun to watch, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, let's look through the most laughable moments of Manos and see how bad they really are. The film begins with a stereotypical 60s family looking for a place called Valley Lodge. This scene happens to have the worst voice dubbing in his I'm getting cold, mother. My god, that's not the voice of a little girl. That that's the voice of a, that's the voice of a serial killer pretending to be a little girl. This is followed by scenes of driving and more driving and even more driving. First 5 minutes is no joke, driving. After what seems like an eternity, they find themselves at a strange house in the middle of the desert ran by Torgo, a guy with very unnatural knees. What the heck are those things? The family asks, but Torgo refuses to let them stay the night, claiming that the master would be disturbed. Surprise, surprise, they convince him and they stay anyway. In the next few minutes, the pet dog dies, the car won't start, and... Uh, Torgo, I think you need help. Is, is this even legal? Eh, still a better love story than Twilight. Anyway, it turns out that Torgo is the servant to the master, a leader of a religious cult who's played by, I think, Lady Gaga. For some reason, the master has like 10 wives, for a reason not explained at all. The master burns Torgo's hand. Oh, so that's where the 25 cent budget went. The wives get into an argument over who should live in the stereotypical 60s family and who should die. They break into a fight that lasts forever. Like the driving. 
Though, unlike the driving, the fight is actually really entertaining. I like how the fights are clearly unchoreographed and are just improvised. Flash Jazz music really complements this beautifully. To expression, well, let's just say he's good at doing a Justin Bieber impression. Anyway, the family escapes into the desert, and clearly they are in a horror movie, because they trip and stumble every five seconds. This goes on for a bit before they're attacked by stock footage, the cheapest thing a filmmaker can do. Terrifying. Stupidly, the family decides to go back to the house. Yeah. Let's just go back to the house where a man with ten wives and a servant who shakes more than a person having a seizure are trying to kill us. Parents of the year, ladies and gentlemen. They do go back and find Freddie Mercury waiting for them. We then cut to... Driving? Oh god, not again! So these two women find themselves at the same house where... <laughs> I take care of the place while the master is away. So anyway, in conclusion, is there anything to actually like about this film? Well, yeah, this film is so bad it's good. It's fun to watch with some popcorn and make fun of, but I also really like it. There's just strange passion that I have for it. It is known as a cult film because it has a cult fall. I can, I'm part of that. I really like this film. And to tell the truth, I sort of dig the music. Thing that I cannot do week. My name is Gabriella Quintana and my name is AJ Geary. Cool. Have, Have a fabulous, fabulous wild and wonderful cool. week.